Hello, St. Mary's, and happy Monday. I hope you've had a chance to get into the book Hunting Magic Eels. I've heard back from a few of you about the reading, and I would love to hear from a lot more. Shoot me a note, and let me know what you think. But I was thinking of you all the other day as I was doing nothing more than scrolling through Facebook the other day because I stumbled across this ad. Now, some of you might look at this and be like, that's just cheesy. Others of you might wonder why my algorithms brought this to me, and it must be because I've been watching a lot of Rings of Power here recently. But this ad was really interesting to me. Who knows what this guy's story is? He seems to just be an everyday guy sitting there in his everyday t-shirt, but so happy to have this Viking style of picture of himself. Even for an advertisement, that guy's smile seems pretty legit to me. And I was drawn to this. I couldn't help but realize that this guy wants so badly to see himself as something more. So I wonder, what does this advertisement tell us about what it is we desire deep down inside ourselves? What is it that we are lacking that this product, this image, is trying to make up for? But then again, I thought even deeper. Well, which one, the regular guy or the Viking, is the real person? Who are we really? Maybe, just maybe, there's a little bit of the adventurer in all of us. And so after thinking about this picture for a while, I was reminded of a quote from Hunting Magic Eels, page 93 if you want to look it up. Our author is in the middle of a conversation around J.R.R. Tolkien, the author of Lord of the Rings, who also was the author of a famous speech entitled Fairy Stories, where he talks about the idea that fairy stories and enchantment isn't just something to escape from real life. It's actually really important to the way that we understand ourselves. And so he's talking about Tolkien, but he's also talking about the place of these kinds of stories in our lives. And here's what he writes. He says, I don't know if you've noticed, but life in the real world is often burdened by boredom and weariness. We move numbly from workday to workday, entertainment to entertainment, screen to screen. Worst of all, our relationships become affected by a taken-for-granted feeling. We confess the tragedy of this the monotony we feel with others, even with those we love most dearly. But we struggle to regain contact with wonder, surprise, and awe. The enchantment of fairy stories, according to Tolkien, helps us recover those lost feelings. What was old becomes new. The boring becomes surprising. The gray becomes bright. The dead comes back to life again. What heals us in fairy stories, says Tolkien, is this sense of recovery. This recovery fairy stories helps us to make. Enchantment isn't pretending, a fanciful fleeing or escaping from the world. Enchantment is rediscovering the world. Enchantment isn't a flight, but a return. So what I think our author and this picture have to say to us is that it's okay for us to seek to kind of rediscover something wonderful and beautiful about ourselves. And that this kind of rediscovering is essential to our health and mental well-being. We can't live in a world where our lives don't have some larger purpose. It's difficult to maintain our day-to-day -day work if it's all just kind of meaningless at the end. And indeed, our author describes how he brings this to a Bible study that he runs in a prison. And he says that those inmates need an outward turn towards grace, help, hope, and a conviction of worthiness that comes to them from beyond the ruins of their lives and indeed the confines of all ourselves. Indeed, our health and happiness depend on it. So this is why we pray. We pray because our words matter. We pray because our lives matter. And in the act of praying, it is Jesus himself who reminds us that we are children of the King. Yes, we are royalty in so many ways. And so when we believe that and when we live into that, then our lives take on purpose. And as we talked about this past Sunday, we're willing to take initiative and risk because God is doing something beautiful in our lives. So friends, I invite you to take that initiative and risk and be willing to see yourselves as more than just our daily monotony, that we are children of the King. There is something beautiful and wonderful about us. Rediscover that, is, that enchantment that is at the heart of our lives. Be sure of my prayers for you as you dive into prayer this week.